so let us continue with the questions that we left yesterday the ones that we uh, we didn't finish in this paper so we have uh, questions 21 to start with right away a person accidentally steps on a thorn okay in which order does the electrical impulse flow all right we, we talked a lot about the flow of the electrical impulse when we did the nervous system okay so we know that uh, we have the sensory neuron and the motor neuron and the motor neuron so the motor neuron is there and then here we have the nervous system uh, the we have the brain the, the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system okay so a relay neuron connect these two guys together okay a relay neuron so again we continue with elimination here we we don't start with motor we have to end with motor so we eliminate eliminate we have sensory sensory so here we have relay in between these two guys okay so relay should be in between which makes d the final answer and c is not the answer as well All right wait uh 22 the diagram shows the muscles which control the size of the pupil in an eye the pupil okay this is the pupil and these are the secular muscles that is going around and then we have the radio radio muscles going out like that and this is the iris we did talk a little about the eye remember so how do these muscles make the pupil larger how do these muscles make the pupil larger okay so i'll give you uh, a trick here like uh okay a chance to go watch the video on this one okay uh, pause the video and then look for the video on um, I, uh, the eye which we did uh, check on what when, when you talk about the uh, secular muscles contracting okay the ciliary uh, muscles contracting and the the the, the radial muscles and the secular muscles what happens to it so watch that video then come back and see if you can answer this question okay so we're talking about the pupil uh, being either getting bigger or smaller now here uh, the question is how do these muscles make the pupil larger or getting bigger so when does the pupil get big uh, get bigger that's it, it get bigger when uh, you are in dim light okay uh, there's not much light in the room so to get bigger so that enough light can, can come into can pass through okay the the lens and you'll be able to to, to focus on images so in, in dim light it will become bigger and then in bright light it becomes smaller so that uh, it controls the amount of light passing through so now what how does it happen in relation to the muscles that you have so we've got the radial muscles and the circular muscles so the pupil becomes larger when let's start, let's start with the circular muscles so uh let's start with the okay circular muscle the circular muscles are going to relax okay why because the radial muscles these lines you're seeing here they're called the radial muscles these these will have to for for this to be bigger they will have to pull this side okay so pulling this side will make the uh this one get bigger so they will have to contract and this will once this contract the secular muscles will do the opposite they will relax same thing happens when they want to get smaller these ones will relax so that they can stretch and then the secular muscles are going to contract so they can uh they they, they they make the pupil smaller okay hope you get the reasoning so the reasoning is that the radio muscles are going to contract meaning if it was like this it will become a short thing like that so that it pulls these uh, ends together so that the whole becomes bigger if you're getting the concept here 
okay so the radio muscles are contracting so again wherever this relax we eliminate this one and eliminate that one so contract contract and they have to be the opposite if these contract then the other ones have to relax so here they're saying contract contract which is wrong okay and we know b is wrong and we know d is wrong which leaves us with c all right so that leaves us with uh, c as uh, our answer Okay, that leaves us with C. So we jump into uh, 23. The exoskeleton is made up of uh, of insects. Okay, so this one I'll, I'll leave it up to you. We didn't talk about the skeletal uh, skeleton skeletal system. We didn't talk about this. So I think I'll this one will pass in even this one. Uh, growth in plants okay so basically the final topics are about growth and uh, genetics okay so we couldn't do most of this because our time was limited okay so I would just wish we had more time we would have probably cleared out most uh, of the topics but anyway what, what we learned is enough for us to, to, to get uh, to be able to get uh, good marks okay so you don't really have to answer everything okay, if you want you can answer everything but what we have right now is enough and uh, what we learn so uh, okay we can pass this one now uh, sexual system all right I think we can uh, the the rest of good genetics and start explaining the concept to just probably be a tool on you if you haven't done them already so we'll just end here for this paper and now we'll jump to the next uh, paper so that we can uh, do more of what we can do okay so the question here reads the diagram shows a guava leaf with the magnification of 2.0 okay x 2.0 now this is uh, a leaf if the length of the drawing is 8.0 what is the length of the actual leaf so we know that magnification is equals to size of uh, drawing divided by size of specimen okay so the size of the drawing we divide by the size of the specimen so meaning when you divided this we got two okay so now they're telling us if the length of the drawing is eight, okay, drawing is uh, eight. What is the length of the actual leaf? So that means uh, if this was eight and we divided the number into eight to get to what number is that? Four. So answer is four. All right. Question two. The diagram shows a plant cell. So the cell, plant cell. Okay. What two structures in the cell are not present in a red blood cell? Which two structures in the cell are not present in a red blood cell? So it's just a, dis uh, a distinction between a plant and an animal cell. So number one definitely is the cell wall, which is two. So. Two is not present as well as the so which two structures in the cell are not present in the red blood cell so we should target those which have got two so uh, three nuclear cities Alright, so which two structures in the cell are not present in the red blood cell? Uh, three is a nucleus, and we know it is pre it is present in the red blood cells. Okay, so wherever there is three, that means it's wrong. So this is wrong, that is wrong. So we remain with one, two, two, 
1 and 4. So you have to debate with 1 and 4. So 4 is the cytoplasm and 1 is the cell membrane. So in a red blood cell, okay, um, we definitely have one cell membrane, okay? One the cell membrane, but uh, not four, which is a cytoplasm, okay? So this is the answer. That is a red blood cell, something like that. Okay, we do have the cell membrane, and the which two structures in this cell are not sorry are not present in a red blood cell so this one is present so this is not the answer all right so the this one a is not correct b c the correct answer will be d all right so the which two structures in the cell are present in a red blood cell that is two and four all right so question three what term is used to refer to a solution outside a cell whose concentration is lower than the concentration of a solution inside the living cell? Okay. All right. So we have we have a cell. Okay, this is a cell, and then we have the surrounding of the cell. So if uh, a solution outside a cell is uh, whose, uh, whose concentration is lower than the solution inside, meaning you have this one is more concentrated compared to the outside of the cell so this one is more concentrated so it cannot be equilibrium because you know one is better than the other so we el el eliminate this one so for a hypotonic we know that a solution uh, has a lower concentration of solid than another solution so that is a hypotonic which has got lower concentration of solid than another solution so here we have uh, a solution whose concentration is lower than the concentration of uh, of concentration of the solution inside the living cell so a hypotonic is lower as lower concentration of solids so this one qualifies okay then with the hypertonic solution okay so that is the answer here. hypotonic because a hypotonic solution is a solution who has got a lower concentration compared to another solution okay okay so here we will we'll have uh, more water diffusing into the cell because of hypotonic Hypertonic should be uh, the, the other way around for hypotonic. Okay. Jump to, to 4. Diagram shows the lock and key model of enzyme action. Okay, um, enzyme, we have two, uh, we have one and two, and then we see and this happens. Okay, so which number in the diagram presents the enzyme and the substrate? So the number which represents the enzyme is not the one which does not change okay so this guy doesn't change it just remains the same but this on top changes so this can't be the enzyme mm. so the enzyme is the one which does not change is two so which makes this wrong makes that wrong and that wrong so two is the enzyme and the substrate changes at the end of the reaction which is this one so c is the correct answer Five. Which of the following correctly shows a deficiency disease caused by lack of vitamin C, proteins, and iron in the blood? Okay, so we did talk about um, in the previous paper. It's a similar question, just uh, questioned in another way. So we know protein is kwashoka. Okay, that's we talked about. Iron is anemia. So which definitely leaves us with D as the correct answer. Okay, scurvy vitamin uh, vitamin C. These others just to distract you. A. Which nutrient in the diet should be increased to keep a patient healthy after suffering from malaria for a long time? So uh, after suffering malaria for a long time, there's definitely loss of blood. So you need more of iron to keep uh, to 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 be. Uh, to help with uh, to improve in the, uh, the the amount of blood, okay, you need iron. 
right so in plants magnesium is an essential element for formation of we talked about this yesterday chlorophyll okay magnesium chlorophyll diagram shows the structure of rhizopus this is the same question of saprophytic nutrition which labeled pus release digestive enzymes okay so which label pus release digestive so this is just a stolon got the horizontal and the vertical ones hyper so this is where you have digestive enzyme being uh, released okay so it's a all right so number nine the diagram shows the internal structure of the leaf again we have the leaf this is the upper epidermis the lower epidermis uh, we have got the vessels here and uh, probably the sponge uh sponge layer and the other cells um, which part transports food nutrients okay so that is uh, food nutrients is being transported by the phloem okay by the phloem right so the phloem here would be a okay that is for transporting food nutrients okay so an organism has the following dental uh the following all right so an organism has the following number of teeth in the mouth incisors four canines eight premolars ten and molars twelve what is the dental formula of the organism okay so we have to look at the incisors we have four that that is here we have uh, on one side we have uh, that means uh, two two which is on one side we have one one so this we should have one 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 for the incisors so which means these definitely do not qualify because we have two three one or three or two two so this one makes sense because we're looking at the half of, of the upper side or the lower side okay so these will make sense All right d all right let's complete with we can end on 11 the diagram shows part of the digestive tract okay uh, this is the liver the stomach pancreas okay so this would be the duct the okay which structure produces an alkaline juice needed in digestion okay so it's not a it's not d gastric juice okay it's from the pancreas okay pancreatic juice okay. anyway uh, let us just end here so we'll end here for today and uh, we'll continue doing more questions this day so see you in the next video